Chromatography is one of the analytical techniques that we use in order to figure out what the identity is of some unknown organic compound or perhaps a mixture of organic compounds. And with all of these analytical techniques, the most important thing is to realize what kind of interactions are going on and how these compounds are being distinguished or separated from each other. And so chromatography comes in many different flavors. You have column chromatography, you have gas liquid chromatography, you have thin layer chromatography, and paper chromatography. But all of these are unified by some of the central themes of chromatography, which we'll go over first before we start to discuss the subtypes of chromatography. And so chromatography is an analytical technique that works based on polarity differences. And it's structured so that you can resolve or separate a mixture and its components based upon the polarity of those components. And all types of chromatography involve what's called a stationary phase. And this is one that has an adsorbent material. Adsorbent is essentially a polar material that other things bond with. And so you separate this by running a mobile phase, which is usually liquid or maybe gas. You run those over the stationary phase. And the way that it works is the mobile phase, which is your liquid or gas, is going to run over your stationary phase, which has its adsorbent polar material. And the more polar components of your mobile phase are going to interact more with the stationary phase. And remember, when there are more interactions, that's going to mean that the, those parts of the mobile phase travel more slowly. And so essentially what you can do with chromatography, whether it's column chromatography or paper or thin layer or gas liquid chromatography, what you can do is basically run a mobile phase over your stationary phase. And the components of your mobile phase that are more polar will interact more with the stationary phase. And as a result, they'll travel more slowly. And so you can essentially separate these components based upon the polar ones interacting a lot with your stationary phase and the less polar components interacting more. And so we'll get into all the subtypes of chromatography, but keep this theme in mind that you have a stationary phase that has an adsorbent material, which means that it's going to be polar. And you run over that stationary phase, you run a mobile phase, which is something like a liquid or a gas that has different components some of which will interact very strongly with the stationary phase and some of which won't. And the ones that do interact strongly travel more slowly and this allows you to now separate all of the individual components of that mobile phase mixture. And so we'll go through subtypes of chromatography and keep this idea in mind.